We keep hearing about data breaches happening all the time, or a company has been hacked and its user information has been leaked online. But how are you supposed to know if your data has been leaked online? Well, you will learn how to do that in this video. By the way, data brokers sell your information online to spammers or anyone else who may want to target you. Information such as your full name, phone number, email address, home address are all out there on the internet. That's why I've been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information online and it automatically sends out opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information online not only helps out with the spam that I get, but it also protects me from hackers who could target me specifically and obtain access to my social media accounts, bank accounts, or other sensitive information. With Aura, you will also get features like VPN, antivirus, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and even protect your family from any identity theft without having to download several different apps for that. It's really easy to set up and best of all, I can get everything at one affordable price. So check out the link in the description to start your two week free trial with Aura. Thank you again Aura for sponsoring this video. All right, so first let's check out haveibeenpwned.com. This is the most famous website for checking if your data such as email and password has been leaked in a data breach somewhere on the internet. Simply put in your email here and click on owned or pwned and you'll either get good news, meaning your info was not found in a data breach, or bad news, where you can see all of the different breaches that happened in the past in which your email was a part of. Now if you have been part of a data breach, you should immediately update your passwords and never use the same password on a different application by the way. You can use password managers such as LastPass and 1Password to store your passwords. Also make sure that you are using two-factor authentication to add an extra layer of security for your accounts. And Google Authenticator is a good app for that. Another cool website is leak-lookup.com. They advertise that they have over 26 billion records stored from over 4,000 breaches in total. And we can search these records using their search service in here. Make sure to create an account with them. And once you are logged in, you will be at this dashboard page. Click on search once again. And in here, I will put in my email. And we can also change the fields in here as well. I will leave it as is for now. Hit on search and we can see that this email was part of two breaches, one in 2017 and one in 2019. If we click on one of them, we can see that it has an email address, IP address and a password indexed in this database. But you would have to upgrade your account in order to unlock this information. So if you would like to purchase it, just click on the unlock button and this is how much this website is charging to reveal the information. Another website that I recommend checking out is dehashed.com and I actually purchased their enthusiast plan just to test it out and reveal the username and passwords that exist in the databases in plain text. So I'll come back here and I will put in my email once again and I have four results back. I'll click on this one, the web host data breach. And since I have a paid account, I can see all of this information in plain text. So we got the password, the IP address associated with this email. And again, this was retrieved from a hack that happened on this 00 web host website in 2019. There's also this free website called breachdirectory.org and it's similar to the other ones but it's completely free. So if I put in my email here and search for it, we will be able to see the password in here even though half of it is censored and it's actually the same password that we got in the hashed website as well. So once again, if you have been a part of a data breach, if you have seen your information leaked online on one of these websites, you should immediately update your passwords and enable two-factor authentication to fully secure your accounts. So that's it for this video. I hope that you have learned something useful from it. And by the way, check out my Patreon page in which I upload exclusive ethical hacking videos. As always, hit the like button and sub to the channel for more content like this.